Hey, and my air signs. Hope you guys are doing good. So, I decided to do a little bonus video for my air signs because when I did the air, air videos for the weeklies, excuse me, for the 31st of December to January 6th, um, I went, I looked over them again before I, I posted them and I just kind of felt like my energy was a little off. Um, I just, I don't know why I felt that way, but I do. So I was like, you know what, let me do a, let me do a bonus and let's see what other messages we can get for my aquas, my libras, and my gems. Um, uh, just to see what else can come through in case uh, we get some more stuff that could resonate for you guys. Cause like I said, after I watched them, I was like, uh, why does this feel a little off? Something just felt a little off to me. So I felt compelled to do uh, some more more content for you guys. So we'll start with Aquarius. We'll work backwards. <laughs> we'll do Aquarius. Then we'll do Libra. Then we'll do Gemini. Okay. All right, Aquarius. Let's see what extra messages we can get for you. I'm going to make it super general. I'm not even going to put a timeline on it. So it could resonate presently, past, or future whenever anyone comes across it. So it'll be a nice extra bonus for um, for other air signs who come along, come across it. You know what I'm saying? Um, you guys know the rules. I won't reiterate, you know, how to interpret what um, the, some of these messages are or how to interpret them. It's long-winded. You guys know how this works. Vice versa, it's energy. Don't focus on gender. Um, it's not going to resonate for everybody. <laughs> general, general, general. Okay, so let's get going. Uh, any general messages for my Aquarians? 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 And if those those videos resonated, awesome. Very happy about that. Um, I just felt, like I said, I just felt compelled to do more extra stuff for you guys, okay? For this week. So maybe you guys are going to be going through it this week. Maybe there's going to be a lot of change. I know for my Geminis, there's probably going to be a hell of a lot of change. Um, I'm, I'm feeling a big shift for them, especially them. All right, let's see. Any messages from my Aquarians? Any messages from my Aquarians? That is way too menty. Too menty. <laughs> Any messages from my Aquarians? Anything my Aquarians need to hear? Anything my Aquarians need to hear or know about? Oh, by the way, if anybody could timestamp this, that'd be awesome. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Any messages from my Aquarians? Anything that my Aquarians need to know or need to hear? Okay, let's see what we got here. Ooh, someone's got an Empress. Wow. Wow. Um, Aquas, there's some really good stuff here. Okay, so overall energy, I have strength. Leo energy. This is the house of partnership for you guys. This is all about, this is, oh my God, all about partnership. All Love all day long. <laughs> all right. Um, I made a general case there was some career stuff or some family stuff or whatever, some money stuff. I was like, nope, love, straight up for you guys. I don't have to see the cards to know it. This tells, this says it all to me. Um, <clears throat> power. Why am I getting power? Aquas, I'm getting power. I don't know why that keeps coming to me. Power. Um, there's so okay, I get it. Personal power, personal power. Um, you're trying to regain your personal power in this union. There's something about this person that makes you feel a little less than and I don't think they mean to make you feel that way I don't think they're like derogatory or anything like that I think they're great they're they're coming across as the empress <laughs> okay that's definitely them um hands down that's definitely them but I think because they are the empress and they are powerful in their own right they kind of make you feel a little lesser um is what i'm sensing so i feel like there's been a bit of a power struggle and i feel like internally you feel like you don't have enough personal power when you're around this person but like i said i don't think they mean to make you feel that way it's more so just like trying to re can't, trying to catch up trying to catch up to their level trying to catch up to them so we have these four cards that came out we have the four of pentacles in reverse letting go definitely letting go is that eight? Yep. I'm still getting used to the imagery on these, this new deck. Eight of Wands with the Four of Swords in reverse with Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so let's split these two up for a minute. Um, this is letting go of some really negative stuff, and I feel it. Whatever it is, it's not Pentacles. <laughs> I mean, I think some of you are definitely are trying not to focus as much on your money right now, which is great. Um, but whatever it is, it, it ain't Pentacles. Like, it should be little shit turds. I mean, that's like, that's how it feels. Like, it's getting rid of 
a lot of shit, like literal shit that does not serve you at all, which is great. And it's leading to so much progress with this eight of wands. That's a lot of communication, healthy communication, forward movement. It's really, really good. I, Aquas, I'm so happy to be feeling this vibration with you guys because I know that you and your partners have been going through a roller coaster the last few months. Um, but yeah, that feels really good. It really feels like positive forward movement. Now we have this Four of Swords with Seven of Pentacles. I love this. I love this energy too, because usually Four of Swords in reverse, I'm like, okay, you need to rest. But I actually feel like this is a passing energy. Like you're coming out of the Four of Swords energy with the Seven of Pentacles, feeling like you really, you know, being in isolation, being a little bit of a hermit, trying to heal, trying to rest, trying to recover, definitely from some intense pain that I'm sensing, and this is all your energy, um, was a really good use of your time. You feel like, okay, yes, I was not very social, or like, yes, I wasn't like talking to as many people, I wasn't really going out, but I was focusing on me and myself and the things that I needed to fix. And you're like, wow, that was that was time well spent. And I think for a while you were questioning that when you were in that Four of Swords energy of like, I don't know, like, I feel like maybe I should be like reaching out to people or, you know, maybe I should be doing this, that or the other. But no, that was clearly the right choice because it's leaving you feeling really, really awesome. I think it's, it's really kind of restoring your personal power, being able to work on yourself and heal yourself and finding that strength again. Oh, I love it. Now your Empress. Oh, they just, they feel great. I feel like they're, why do I like waiting? Waiting. Why do I feel waiting? Um, Aquas, I feel like they're waiting for you. Now, I, I already know it. I can already feel the cross watcher. I can already feel him. <laughs> um, don't tell me you're not waiting. It's right here. <laughs> it's right here. Um, I think you've been waiting a long time. You've been waiting a long time. And you've been trying to be patient, but it's been really hard. I think a lot of you have been overly frustrated. But there is a sense of peace about it. So I think even if you're waiting, you're like... You're not passively waiting, which means you're not sitting there on your butts doing nothing. I think, you know, you are enjoying your life as the empress. You're making things happen for yourself. You're enjoying, um, some of you are definitely in solitude and, and really just also enjoying your friends. But when I say solitude, I mean, it's like, you're not sharing a whole lot of your thoughts. Like, really, I feel like you're keeping a lot to yourself right now. And I'm not sure why you feel that way, but... It's almost like a little mini mini sword, mini four swords energy too. So there's could, could be a little bit of mirroring here. This is also Libra energy, uh, Taurus energy. It's Venus, right? It's all about partnerships. Um, Divine feminine for whoever resonates with that title. But yeah, it just feels like you're just really content with life and you do miss this person a lot. Like you miss the aqua. Like I'm talking the cross watcher, uh, the, whoever's taking on the Empress energy. You miss the aqua. You do. Um, but you're not, like I said, you're not being passive about it. You're doing things. You're doing things. Your life is actually very full, but I, I do feel like you're not emotionally sharing a lot is what I'm sensing here. And I think it's because you do miss this person. And it's almost like you don't want your, your, your social circle to know, like you, almost like you don't really want your friends or family to know that you're missing this person is kind of what I'm getting. Um, but you're in a really strong Empress energy. Then we have page of coins. Getting a me message and luck, luck. Ooh, good luck, good fortune. Um, but definitely a very like friendly, friendly, warm message. Abundance. I feel like someone is trying to offer abundance. I feel like the Aquarius is trying to come forward, but very sincerely. It's very sincere. It feels really nice. Um, so let's go back to these four cards. I'm not going to go into crazy detail with these readings because I'm doing the three signs and it's just like bonus messages, but I am going to clarify some stuff. So letting go and coming out. I want to look at this eight of wands. I feel like this is not just progress with yourself, Aqua. I feel like it's also with this person. So I feel like it's going to tell us a lot. So let's take a peek. Clarify eight of wands. Clarify eight of wands. For Aquarius. Clarify eight of wands for Aquarius. Clarify eight of wands for Aquarius. I feel like this is future energy or it's like very, very, very near future. Clarify eight of wands. Clarify eight of wands for Aquarius. Clarify eight of 
clarify eight of wands yeah because we have the hangman out here in the upright position which tells me yeah this is near future stuff in in it's almost like a revelation that needs to happen on the aquarius's end clarify eight of wands but you know everyone's in a different place in their in their life right and in what they're experiencing so let's see what's going on here e. Ooh, i see wow okay so overall energy wheel of fortune in reverse so yeah there needs to be four there needs to be forward movement there needs to be communication there needs to be talking but there's a delay like i said the hangman is up right here so we have six cards out the first line i feel like you guys have gotten these cards quite a few times in your your past monthly your past readings for the month um hangman um energy piscean energy with the lovers Gemini energy with the full Aries energy and the Ace of Wands in reverse. Okay, so delays, delays, delays. And it's delayed because, you know, someone is stuck in the hangman position. Aquarius, I feel like it's you. Um, the hangman's not a too bad of a stagnant energy to be in, though, because you know when you come out of it, you're going to have a major epiphany, a major revelation. And it's going to be about taking a risk with your lover here, with your person, with your partner that you feel really passionate about. Um, and it's so funny because this was in reverse and I was picking it up and then I dropped it and then it came out upright. So I feel like it's close. It's really close, guys. It's so close. But we do have Three of Swords with the Queen of Cups. C Cancerian energy uh, could also be uh, Pisces or Scorpio. This is a lot of love. This is this is a person that you are dealing with. This is somebody who has a lot of love. I think you you broke their heart. You broke their heart. Aqua, this is interesting. For some of you, Aquas, this is not the same person as the Empress for some of you. I feel it. Some of you, this is an old, old love. Um, karmic? I don't know why I'm getting karmic. Karmic for some of you. Most of you, it is the same person, but some of you, it's not. Some of you, it's a different person that you're you're trying to get over from the past, like way, way past. Um, but for most of you, this is the same person. You're just, you're worried that you broke their heart, but they're coming as the empress. I don't think they're, I think they're okay. <laughs> I think they're, I think they're doing just fine, to be completely frank with you. Um, we will look at the empress, though. Let's see what the empress is about. Then we'll look at the page of pentacles and move on to Libra. Clarify empress. Clarify Empress for Aquarius. Clarify Empress for Aquarius. Clarify Empress for Aquarius. Clarify Empress for Aquarius. Clarify Empress. Ooh, we just got a divine masculine out here. Clarify Empress. Clarify Empress. Clarify Empress. Okay. So we got a couple cards. I see. Ooh, okay. Overall energy. Eight of Swords. That's not good. And then right behind that, we have Judgment. Ugh. I gotta be honest, Aquas. Um... So you're going to come out of this Four Swords energy. You're going to feel like you really spent, you know, your time wisely. And you're going to come back to your Empress to reconcile and to fix things. But it's going to make them not feel so good. It's going to make them hesitate. They're going to hesitate. They're, it's almost like they kind of thought you were really done. And so they didn't really think that you they would have to deal with you really in a 3D sense. I mean, they miss you and they they'd want to be they want to be with you. But it's making them hesitant because of things that have happened in the past. And I feel that. Uh, we do have the Magician. Uh, Aquarius energy, you guys. Uh, could also be Gemini or Scorpio from these a reader. Divine Masculine as well, whoever resonates with that title. Ace of Pentacles in reverse, Missed Opportunity. The Moon. Ugh. Piscean energy and Cancerian energy. Unknown. Hidden away. Hidden away, hidden away. Um, and then the last card we have coming out, the Seven of Cups in reverse. Fa fantasy. I'm getting fantasy. Yeah, so Aquas, you're, you're trying to really manifest something with your Empress, um, Divine Masculine to the Divine Feminine, but you, you feel like you've missed an opportunity. But there's something you don't know. There's something you don't know. And, um, and I feel like 
a lack of knowing whatever this is that you don't know it's it's kind of allowing you to have fantasies about this person i didn't mean to i didn't mean to like insinuate you're crazy i don't think you're crazy um i really just think it's keeping yourself ignorant to the things that you need to know is allowing you to kind of have a fantastical way of looking at how things can be but you're also so worried that you already miss an opportunity with them so let's see the, what the moon's about let's see what's being hidden away from you guys okay <clears throat> Clarify the moon for Aquarius. Clarify the moon. Clarify the moon. Like, I almost feel like if you knew whatever it is that's being hidden from you, you would realize you didn't miss an opportunity with them. Clarify the moon. But it would also bring you down to reality. It, it would give you clarity on how, on how to um, approach this situation and your empress. Remember, gender doesn't matter, guys. So it could be, you know, the Empress could be a man and the Magician could be a, a female. doesn't matter. Clarify the moon. Clarify the moon. Clarify the moon. Mm. Clarify the moon. Oh, yeah, I already know where this is going. Clarify the moon. Clarify the... Hold on, that's, that's, that's just way too many cards. Hold on a second, guys. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Clarify the moon. Clarify the moon. Clarify the moon. Betrayal. I'm getting betrayal. We don't have the Ten of Swords out here, but I'm just picking up on betrayal. I think your Empress feels very betrayed by you. By something from the past. Clarify the moon. Hey. Okay, overall energy, we have Knight of Wands, Sagittarius energy. This could also be Leo um, or Aries. This is not exactly the greatest Knight of Wands, okay? This is the other side. This is the side that's coming out in your reading. This is like, this is somebody who's incredibly impulsive. This is this is more like player energy, very in and out, because they're they're constantly seeking. They're constantly moving. They're constantly seeking things to make them happy, but there's a void that they can't fill. Um, Aquas, I gotta be honest, this is kind of coming in as your energy. And then we have uh, four cards out here to clarify the moon. We have five of cups, six of pentacles, the hangman again, then knight, uh, king of pentacles, uh, Taurus energy could also be a uh, Capricorn Virgo or Gemini Libra Aquarius. What's unknown to you is that you don't realize how long you've been keeping yourself stuck, which has allowed you to miss this opportunity in the first place. That's what that's what you're not realizing. That's what you're not picking up on. That's the intuition you're not really you know, using um, about this missed opportunity. It's like, did you miss an opportunity? Yes. But why did you miss out? Because you were too busy. Oh, oops, wrong side. <laughs> Sorry, guys, this is your side. Um, I was like, oh, wait a minute. All the colors changed. <laughs> but that's why you missed this opportunity. You were too busy wallowing about someone else. I got to be honest, that's how I feel it. Wallowing about someone else, not realizing you already had another soulmate right there. It's like, all you had to do was turn around. That's all you had to do was come out of it and turn around. Um... And instead, you were looking at what you had left and how to exercise your resources here. Um, you weren't really focused on the relationship. It was more so you were worried about losing control, losing power in this dynamic with this with your empress. Um, I think that really led to a lack of give and take. I feel like there was stinginess here. And I feel like there was talk about money, like in an inappropriate way. I don't know how long you've been with this person. I, I actually don't feel like it's been super long. I don't. I don't feel like it's been over a year. It's definitely been a year or under. For some of you, it's only been a few months. Um, but yeah, it's almost like power tripping. And I feel like money was discussed inappropriately. Like, um, you know, maybe saying like, maybe being judgmental about money, about how much your other person makes or how money is spent. Um, I just like you were being, there's a stinginess about money here. And I feel like it was, it was you, Aquas. I don't know if your experience has been, you know, that, when you get into relationships, they just are kind of money hungry. 
um, or they just like only care about what you can provide for them tangibly as opposed to emotionally, but there seems to be an over, over focus on money. Hangman being stuck, being very, very stuck. Okay. Not realizing that, you, that there's something you're not realizing. Like literally that's all I feel of this card that you're hung up and stuck because you're not figuring shit out <laughs> in a timely manner. There's something that you refuse to see. Okay, and then we have Knight of Pentacles in this position. This is somebody who's overly obsessed with money. This is somebody who's selfish. This is somebody who's unfocused. This is somebody who really is only caring about um, their pentacles, their life, their money, their themselves. Um, it's almost like what you're not realizing about what caused this missed opportunity was that you were too busy grieving another relationship and then power tripping over this one because you've been hurt and not realizing how selfish and unfair i'm getting unfair you were in this connection don't get mad at me that's just how i'm sensing it, it could always be vice versa it could always be vice versa but you're going to come through with an offer of abundance here i definitely feel it it's almost like a hey nudge nudge what do you think um let's look at that briefly i'm like shit i'm at 20 minutes and i got two more signs to do <laughs> clarify page of pentacles for my aquarians Clarify Page of Pentacles for my Aquarians. Clarify Page of Pentacles for my Aquarians. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Clarify Page of Pentacles for my Aquarians. Clarify Page of Pentacles for my Aquarians. And remember, this is very general, so this is not going to resonate with all aquas, so please remember that. Clarify Page of Pentacles. Clarify Page of Pentacles. Clarify Page of Pentacles. Okay. Let me see what's up here. Oof. So overall energy... Knight of, Knight of Cups in reverse. Piscean energy could also be Cancer, Scorpio, or Aries, Leo, Sag. So around this, like, this message, it's, it's a, it's a withdrawal of emotion. Um, I really feel like it's out of fear. It's almost like all business. It's like, it's friendly. The message that is being sent is friendly, but it's all business. There's like, there's no, there's no warmth to it. It's sincere. But there's no, like, there's no, I care about you. There's no, I love you. I think there is a little bit of, I you know, I, I've been thinking about things, but not, not more emotional than that. We have four cards out. The first card out is Ten of Swords in reverse. God, I, I'm almost feeling like this is your partner saying this. Like, especially with the Ten of Swords in reverse, it's like, yeah, I'm trying to get over this betrayal. Because remember, I was sensing betrayal, but then I didn't see the Ten of Swords, and now we have Ten of Swords. Um, yeah, I'm pulling the swords out of my back. Yeah, it's like, there's not a whole lot of warmth. It's just matter of fact, is like the way that they're speaking. I feel like this is uh, the Empress that you're talking to. And then these are the three cards out. The Tower, Scorpio Energy, with the Devil, Capricorn, in reverse. And then King of Pentacles, again, in reverse. Um, Taurus Energy, this is also um, Capricorn, Virgo, G Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Again, very much, the same en very much the same energy as this card. This side is equivalent to the Knight of Pentacles upright. This is pretty much equivalent to the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Um, but releasing, there's a... With this tower, whatever this tower moment is that's coming down, there's a release of toxicity around you, around both of you. And also, especially for you, Aquas, it's like you're releasing a lot of codependency with whatever this tower moment is. Um, damn it. Now I'm like, what's the tower moment? Okay. <laughs> tower moment and then I'm moving on. <laughs> then I'm moving on to Libras. This is going to be a long video, but oh well. Clarify the tower. Clarify the tower. For Aquarius. Clarify the tower for Aquarius. Oh, oopsie. Clarify the tower. Okay, these really want to be out. Clarify the tower. Oh. For 
most of you, this is a reconciliation. I'm just being honest. I, I see it. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I see it. Clarify the tower. Clarify the tower. It's going to be up to your part, your partner, though, Aqua. It's going to be up to them. It's You're going to present, present it to them. You're going to line it up. They either got to knock it down or walk away. <laughs> Clarify the tower. Clarify the tower for Aquarius. Clarify... Clarify the tower for Aquarius. Okay. So we got one, two, three, four, five cards. Overall energy. Five of Wands. Yeah, so it's like this is gonna be a very defensive discussion. And like I said, they're gonna they're gonna be talking all business and all matter of fact. It's not going to be lovey-dovey. That's what this five of wands is out here for. This is explosive arguing. This is like, it's it's just uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable and there is going to be some bickering. There's going to be some fighting, but God, is it going to lead to a good place? Um, but like I said, it's going to be up to them. And I definitely feel that. It's going to be up to them to make this like a total reconciliation versus like, okay, we got all this out in the open. Let's just move on. So we have eight. Yes, eight of cups. With the lovers, Gemini energy. Didn't we have lovers already? Yeah, we did. Lovers came up twice. Uh, by the way, lovers is twin flame energy for me. Just letting you guys know. Then we have the Knight of Cups again. Um, Piscean energy, also Cancer, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sag. The Moon again, Piscean energy, also Scorpio. Then Ten of Wands. I'm sorry, guys. I got to pause. My I'm about to cough. Hold on. Sorry. Okay. Sorry, guys. So this tower, it's coming down. And this tower is coming down because basically someone's trying to move towards their dream. They're happy. You see the sun right there? That's like a, it's like very indicative of yin yang, right? It's like the moon with the sun, that duality, very twin flame esque. Um, you know, moving towards their dream, which is coming together in union with their lover, with you. Uh, and I, Aqua, I feel like this is you coming, uh, coming across and saying this. But then we have the Knight of cups in this position with the moon in this position and the ten of wands in this position this basically tells me that you know someone's gonna have to make a choice someone's gonna have to make a choice and either it's it's gonna lead to stress and burdens or it's gonna lead to some really yummy 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 love okay i feel like this is the this is the choice come uh, come into union with love in your hearts even if the, there's a lot to be worked on this is a knight of pentacles who needs some working this is like the perfect knight of Pen knight, knight of pentacles this is um there's a little bit of like dark energy here which darkness is never a bad thing if it's balanced out right and harnessed correctly but this is also a little bit of seeking so it's like i feel like there's work to be done here if this is chosen but if the, if someone just decides you know what let's move on we did it it was just too much work it's gonna feel like a burden and it's gonna be painful um but the fact that we have lovers here it's like I really feel it strongly that there's a really strong possibility of, of coming together but it's gonna be left up to the other person they're gonna have to choose once this discussion takes place they're gonna have to choose under the light or not really the light the eclipse really of the moon and keep in mind guys we do have eclipses coming up um I believe it's January 6th, and then there's another one towards the end, but the only one of them is a lunar, I think. The other one, I believe, is solar. I think it's this first one that's partial lunar, I believe. Oh, which is, like, this upcoming week. Um, so keep in mind, it could be around that time. It could just be a sign. But anyway, so like I said, Aqua's... There's a lot of love here. There's twin flame energy as well, but it's, you guys are going to come together because someone's going to send out a little message. I feel like it's going to be you, Aqua. It's going to be a fight. Not going to lie. It's going to be uncomfortable. It's going to be a little bit of a heated discussion. It's going to be very tension filled, but the possibility for reconciliation is undeniable. Undeniable. It's just going to be up to your partner if they say yes or no. Okay, let's move on to Libra. Coming in at about 30 minutes. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I know, I can't believe I did that. <laughs> I tried so hard to keep it in like a timely manner and I just, I'm incapable. I'm clearly incapable of doing that. Um, especially because I can feel it like when I get into it. I'm like, oh God, I know you guys want to know. I know you guys want to know. <laughs> anyway, so let me just get the board cleaned up first because we had a lot of cards come out. We're going to move on to Libra. Almost done cleaning. Okay. Got that on there, got that on there. 
eep. Okay. All right, let's get into this Libra energy. Libra. 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 Any messages for Libra? Any general messages for Libra? Let's see here. Any messages for Libra? Just trying to give it a good shuffling job. I did one of those messy ones where I just like swish. <laughs> Lay the cards all out and re bring them back together. Um, just to get like cards out, you know, good, you know, change them in good positions. Um, not good positions, but you know, get them nice and shuffled up. Don't have all my words with me. Sorry, guys. It's also, does it seem like I'm out of focus? Oh, that's a little better. Anyway. All right, I feel like I'm there. Any general messages for Libra? Any general messages for my Libras? Any general messages for my Libras? Any general messages for my Libras? One more. That feels really good. Any general messages for my Libras? Any messages that they need to hear? Oh, not, oh, shit. Oh, shit. We have the moon with the sun. This is going to be an intense reading. No wonder I had to do a bonus. <laughs> Any general messages for Libra? Any messages that Libras need to hear or need to know? Any messages for Libra? Very interesting. Okay. Any messages for Libra? Any messages for Libra? Any messages for Libra? God damn it. Are you guys dealing with an Aquarius? We just had the, the Aquarian court card come out here. So overall energy, King of Swords in reverse, Aquarius energy. Could also be Libra. Um, this this card is aligned with Justice, with the Justice card specifically, which is also Libra energy. So actually, I shouldn't be surprised that this came out. It's also Gemini. But when it's in this position, it's my Narcissist card. Just got to be straight up with you. Very selfish, very emotionally unavailable, very manipulative. They're very careful with how they word things because they know how powerful the wor words can be. Um, when the king is upright, they're very truthful. Not so much in this position. Okay, they withhold a lot. They withhold a lot and they do it for power purposes. Okay. So we have quite a few, not quite a few, we have got uh, five cards out. So these two came out together, flying out together. The moon in reverse, Piscean energy, also Cancerian. The sun, Leo energy, which is, again, we I, we just went over this with Aquarius, duality. All right, the duality of the sun and the moon, very twin flame-esque. Um, four of coins in reverse. I'm also getting knowledge. Sorry, I got go to go back to this really quickly. I'm also getting like expansion of like divine knowledge like I don't know if you're getting a lot of downloads but I really feel like Libra you're in such a great balance of the light and the dark right now such a great balance and I feel like you're really trying to use it um four of pentacles in reverse seven of pentacles in reverse but then we end in the nine of swords this is like mental torture um so remember this could always be your partner it doesn't always have to be you things could always be vice versa I, I gotta focus in on this. This is like, I almost don't even want to pull them apart because they feel so perfect together. So I'm actually going to clarify it that way as a set, which I've been doing a little bit more lately when I feel like that. Like, I honest to God do not even want to put these cards apart from each other. That's how perfect it feels like a fit. Very yin yang. Very yin yang. Um, clarify the sun with the moon in reverse as a set. This is, this is also um, revelations about, about happiness and about, oh my God. And the sun card, oh, now I pulled them apart. <laughs> the sun card, there's a balanced scales right there in the middle. I'm trying to get it to focus. Oh, you see that? 
that's you. That's all you, Libra. That's all you all day. It's almost like your your happiness and freedom is being shown to you. Uh, all you gotta do is grab it. Is what I'm getting. Clarify the moon in reverse with the sun. And again, this could be your partner. It doesn't have to be you. Clarify the moon in reverse with the sun, or whoever you're connecting with, because this could all be business. It doesn't have to be love. I'm feeling romance though. <laughs> Just saying. Clarify the moon in reverse with the sun for my Libras. Yeah, you guys are like, oh, you're so in your element right now. You're, yeah, you're so balanced. Clarify the moon in reverse with the sun. But then we got all these negative feelings here. So I, you know, we'll see what comes up, okay? It does feel very separate, though. Like these three cards, I can pick them up, feel very separate from the moon and the sun. Clarify the moon in reverse with the sun for my Libras. Clarify the moon in reverse with the sun for my Libras. Oof. Oh, no. We got the Ten of Swords. Jesus. Okay. That took a turn quick. Clarify the moon in reverse with the sun. Clarify the moon in reverse with the sun. Clarify the moon in reverse with the sun. Oh. Oh, shit, Libras. Okay. I just got the chills and I just got it right in my chest. This is all about the heart. This is all about the emotions. This is about pain. You were perfectly balanced. Perfectly happy. Perfectly content. Totally in your element. In the sun. Like, in total, pull, like, total balance of light and dark. Overall, we have the Ace of Cups in reverse. Loneliness. Ego. Also getting rashness. I don't know what that's about, rashness. Um, I never use that word, by the way, ever. I don't know why that's coming to me. Rashness. I don't know if you got a rash. <laughs> rashness. Um, and like someone just came and totally interrupted your peace. And I think it was this butthole. Just being honest. I don't think it was you. Like I said, the, ki the King of Swords is directly connected to justice, which is Libra energy, but... This, I'm, you know, I, I really feel like someone came in with a big fat ego and totally interrupted your balance. Oh, because the two cards clarifying it as a set, we have Ten of Swords with the Nine of Wands. Ten of Swords, betrayal, ending, a lot of pain, a lot of pain, but you're fighting. You're fighting with the Nine of Wands. You're fighting yourself. You're fighting out of it. You're, you're getting yourself out of it. You're trying to attain that perfect balance that you had that someone so rudely interrupted. Um... There is a letting go of sorts, though, so let's see what this is about. I feel like it was this narcissist. I feel like my Libras, you have been dealing with a narcissist on and off for the last few months. Depending on where you are in your situation, it's just been a running theme for Libras the last few months. Clarify Four of Pentacles in reverse. Clarify Four of Pentacles in reverse. You were, like, perfectly happy. Perfectly happy before this fucker came along. Clarify four of pentacles in reverse. That's how it feels. It was like, why did I ever meet you? <laughs> why? I mean, people come to our life for all kinds of reasons. You know, it's like either to teach us a lesson, um, to set up events, like life-changing events that are like re the true reasons of why they're, they're there. Or they're, you know, they're forever. You know, lifetime people. Your soul tribe. But not this fucker. Clarify four of pentacles in reverse. This I do not feel like this is a lifelong person to be in your life. It just they feel a little toxic. Clarify four of pentacles in reverse. Oh, clarify four of pentacles in reverse for my Libras. Clarify four of pentacles in reverse for my Libras. Clarify four of pentacles in reverse for my Libras. Clar clarify four of pentacles for my libras a lot of cards guys lots of cards so let me see what we got going on here hmm. <laughs> i love it i love it overall energy we have wheel of fortune Whoever's letting go, I feel like it's your partner or whoever you're dealing with, whoever is this king of swords in reverse energy, this, you know, toxic individual. This letting go is 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 a really good thing. This is pushing the wheel forward in in good fortune. This is something that was supposed to happen, should have happened, I feel like a long time ago. 
like it was delayed it was this this letting go was massively delayed so we have uh six cards out three lines <clears throat> First line, High Priestess in Reverse, Piscean Energy, also Gemini for me as a reader. Then we have the Knight of Cups, Pisces again, a lot of Pisces energy. Could also be um, Cancer, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sag. This is like letting go of shit they need to let go of, but also real life, like also secrets are coming out. Secrets about offers of love. And I gotta be honest, I don't feel like it's I don't feel like it's a cheater situation because Knight of Cups, I mean, that's a hopeless romantic. They're still flirts, but they're hopeless romantic. I mean, hopeless romantics, they're about the one person. They'll flirt, but they're about the one person. So that tells me it's just becoming known that this person really does care and that they, they really want to come in and offer you love. And that's being revealed as, they're, as they are letting go. They're also realizing this about themselves that, oh shit, I do love them. I do want to be with them. Um, let's see what we got here. The next three, Ace of Wands in reverse with the Four of Pentacles with the Page of Cups in reverse. I feel like this is a passing energy. I feel like this person, you and this person were supposed to have a new beginning. That's why the Ace of Wands is in reverse because you were supposed to. But someone couldn't let go of emotional unavailability. And we already see like that has turned over as they let go of this and they realize even to themselves and to other and the others realize this about them that they are loving and hopeless romantics and they want to give their love to somebody. But in the past, they couldn't. Because they were way too closed off emotionally, way too emotionally unavailable, way too emotionally unavailable, very narcissistic. And that really halted this beginning because they weren't moving, literally. This is the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, Virgo energy. Could also be Capricorn, Taurus, Aries, Leo, Sag. Slowest moving knight in the deck. When they're in reverse, they're at a complete standstill. They're slower than slow, slower than molasses. Because they decided to not do shit about it anymore. Um, and that led to the, this awfulness. Oh, God. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, they weren't investing in this. <laughs> Plain and simple. They wasted their fucking time because they did not invest in this. And Libras, you feel like you wasted your time too. This is like efforts wasted, time wasted because they didn't do this shit right the, in the first place because they weren't right. They weren't right about themselves. Mental torture. Mental torture. Let's look at this energy. Mm. Clarify Nine of Swords for Libra. 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 Clarify Nine of Swords. see what we got here oh i feel like this is a mutual energy clarify nine of swords clarify nine of swords for libra you two are mirroring each other a little bit just be mindful of that <clears throat> so whatever you you're feeling about it they're eventually gonna feel and vice versa please be aware of that clarify nine of swords <clears throat> Clarify Nine of Swords. Clarify Nine of Swords for Libra. Clarify Nine of Swords for Libra. Wow. Just getting all these out. Yeah, this is, yeah, this is, this is mutual energy. So overall... Four of Cups, contemplation. Both of you are in major, major thinking modes. Please don't do that to yourselves. Please don't do that to yourselves. This is like, should I go in and say something? Should I offer them something? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, more so the King of Swords and Reverse Energy is thinking this as opposed to the Libra. But Libra, you're definitely thinking too. You're definitely thinking about it. Because remember, Nine of Swords, I'm trying to figure out. Mental torture. That's all mental torture. Um, anxiety sorrow depression it's mental over analyzing okay it's not not good not a good energy first line out lovers in reverse gemini energy with the four of wands in reverse it crystal clear being so worried about this broken commitment this breakup that happened um not being with the love of your life <clears throat> then we have these four 
if I can pick them up. <laughs> Nine of Cups in reverse with the Chariot in reverse, Cancerian energy with the Hermit Virgo energy, and then with the Six of Cups in reverse. So let's look at these two for a minute before we look at the Hermit stuff. Oy. Oh, goodness. This is also being stuck in emotions about non-commitment, about failure, feeling like feeling like it was a big fail. <clears throat> There's also self-pity here. Uh, and both of you were kind of doing this, like kind of like wallowing and just in your sadness and just being like, how come this didn't work out? Why didn't this work out? This should have worked out. This should have worked out. Like it had so much potential. It had, that's what I keep hearing. It had so much potential. Why didn't this work out? Um, and both of you were kind of in hermit mode a little bit. Both of you were kind of thinking of doing some soul searching about this and looking at the past in a negative way. Try not to look at it in a negative way. I'm sure there was some positive stuff here too. Both of you were like, Look at everything that transpired. How could that happen? We were we were soulmates. Like that's also what I'm getting. Feeling like you two were just meant to be together and then it just didn't work out. Then we have Temperance in reverse, Sagittarius energy with the Knight of Swords in reverse, Gemini energy. They're the one sevens of each other, by the way. Um, this could also be Libra, of course, and Aquarius, um, Aries, Leo, Sag. A lot of Sag energy actually around all this. This is chaos and drama. This is drama. This is needing to to rein the fighting in, rein in the emotions as well. Rain. Oh, and also be careful with words. Oh my God, there's a lot of like really horrible communication back and forth on both ends. I'm gonna be honest. I'm both y'all are guilty of this, of really talking to each other nasty, really kind of like starting fights as well. I mean, at the end of the day, you're both missing each other. So it's like, why why would you guys keep attacking each other like this? Like I understand this. And very selfish and they really Libra especially oh my god they really hurt you they really hurt you they made you have to like uh, put an energy to fight your way out of this this sadness um, and then both of you end up just non-stop thinking about it of like what should I do about it and like wanting to reach out to each other but it just ends up in a big fight this is not good um, but it does look like um, Libra, whoever you're dealing with, they are letting go of the things that they need to let go of. And it is pushing you guys in the right direction, whether that's together or separate, um, because they've come to their own realizations of how much they love you and care about you. But it just seems like you guys can't stop fighting. And until you guys can't stop fighting, it just seems like maybe both of you need to reconcile your own emotions about this and what you really need in a relationship. And if you should move forward with this, to be honest with the way the energy stands, I'd say no. But that's my own personal opinion. You don't have to listen to me. Um, yeah, I, ju I just keep getting this as like, there's just so much fighting. There's so much fighting and animosity. And it's only going to work if that can be worked out. And if you guys can't fight, you know, figure out how to get on the same page, you guys got to walk away for your own sanity. I mean, literally, you guys are making each other insane. Remember, this isn't for all Libras. This is very general. And there's not even a timeline on it. Okay, so please also keep that in mind. Oof. Wow. All right, let's move on to Gemini. Let's see what my gems got going on. Now remember, this could these could apply to the readings I did, or they could be new messages for different groups of Aquarians, Libras, and Geminis. Because, um, like I said, keeping it super, super, super general. Okay, Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. Just trying to hone in on the energy. It's going to take me a couple minutes. Geminis. Any messages for Geminis? Messages for Geminis. Geminis. I'm getting the word magic. Y'all messing with some magic? You're Gemini's. I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> Any messages for my Gemini's? Gemini's. I'll tell you when we're starting, okay? I'm, I'm still tapping into the energy. But I did hear magic. Just be careful with that, guys. Especially if it's like, you know, you don't have anyone you're learning from. Or if you're just kind of reading stuff online. Just please be very careful in approaching that craft. Okay? Exercise of caution. And only with good intentions, of course. Okay, I think I think we're good. I think we're good. Any messages for my Gemini's? 
general messages for Geminis. Oh, budding? Budding. I don't know what budding is supposed to mean. Is that a gardening term? Gardening? So I think that's budding. It does have to do with reproduction. Oh shit, you guys got a pregnancy on the way? <laughs> Any messages for Gemini? Something about budding. I'm not fam super familiar with that term, so whatever that means to you guys. Budding. Magic and budding. Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe there's like some new magical romance stuff for my Geminis. That, that'd be some nice news. Let's see. <laughs> General messages for my Geminis. One more. General messages for my Geminis. Okay, that feels pretty good. General messages for my Geminis. Anything Geminis need to know? Or anything Geminis should know? That's a lot of cards. Um, I'm only going to take the top one that I see. Any messages for Geminis? Wow. Any messages for Geminis? Well, gems, I think you guys are feeling pretty damn good. Whoever is going to resonate with this, this, this is really nice energy. Any messages for Geminis? Although it could be like the Libra reading and it turns south really quickly. <laughs> Any messages for Geminis? Any messages for Geminis? Messages for Geminis. Messages for Geminis. Messages for Geminis. Hmm. Might be a little bit like the Libra reading. <laughs> it's like it was good, it was good, and then it was like, oh, what the hell is that? So overall energy, we have Judgment in Reverse. Right underneath that, we have Page of Cups and then the Knight of Wands. So I... Oh. Steamy. I'm getting steamy. Um, there's a coming together trying to happen. I can feel it. It's delayed. That's why judgment's in reverse. I can feel it. Oh, it's like it wants to just jump over. Like I can. I don't even want to like hold it still. Um, I'm, I'm gonna put it down actually. <laughs> um, yeah, there's a coming together trying to happen. And with the page of cups and knight of wands right underneath that, I mean that basically just tells me that. Someone is trying to come forward with emotion and a lot of passion and a lot of lust. Um, feels really good, gotta be honest. Um, mm. Yeah, I just keep getting steamy. Yeah, the, steamy, steamy. But something goes awry at the end, I can see it. So we have, sorry, I don't mean to be a downer, but it's just true. So chariot card, uh, Cancerian energy. Nine of cups, someone's wishing. Someone's wishing, someone's hoping. Um, some people are praying, trying to manifest, trying to manifest. But definitely, definitely someone is feeling really good about something and very hopeful, very hopeful, which is really great. But then we end with this Knight of Pentacles in reverse energy. Virgo energy uh, could also be Capricorn, Taurus, or of course, Gemini, uh, Lib Libra, Aquarius. Um, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm sorry, that's for the king fire energy so it's virgo but it could also be capricorn taurus or aries leo sag i've been doing that all day i'm so sorry guys fire and earth energy but it's virgo first and foremost um mm. you could be a gemini cancer a cusper as well god i just this chariot card has so much energy on it there's there's like there's an intense connection here um and but it's I feel like it's just emerging, but then it's almost like someone like stops in their tracks. Okay, so let's look at Chariot. Let's let's look into the Chariot. Chariot card for me is about commitment. Usually, it's also a travel card, so you could be traveling. It's still the holidays, so I do expect to see travel cards. Um, it's also forward movement. It's progress. It's triumph. It being triumphant over like many obstacles that have kind of prohibited you from getting what you want. So let's look at the Chariot for my gems. Clarify the chariot. Clarify the chariot for my Geminis. Clarify the chariot for my Geminis. Where are we at? 54 minutes. Clarify the chariot for my Geminis. 
Clarify the chariot for my Geminis. Clarify the chariot for my Geminis. Clarify the chariot for my Geminis. Hmm. Clarify the chariot for my Geminis. Clarify the chariot for my Geminis. Clarify the chariot for my Geminis. Clar Clarify the chariot for my Geminis. Oh, Jesus. There's a lot of Cancerian energy. Just saying. So, three cards came out. Overall, we have the Wheel of Fortune for this chariot. So, yeah, whatever this forward movement is, this triumph, triumph, victory. I'll just go with victory. Whatever, whatever this victory is, and again, it's also a commitment card for me, it's putting things in the positive. It's moving things forward in the way that they should be. Uh, heading towards but I do see hesitation here okay so the three cards to come out we have <clears throat> excuse me knight of cups in reverse Piscean energy could also be cancer um Scorpio <laughs> why is that so hard for me right now an Aries Leo Sag maybe I haven't had enough protein today maybe that's what it is I need some protein and then ten of swords in reverse with the queen of cups cancerian energy again you have the court card for cancer and the major arcana card for major arcana card for cancer could also be Pisces and Scorpio so what's being um like accomplished what's what what the victory is that I'm seeing here is getting over some emotional um, unfaithfulness in the past like I kind of feel like this knight of cups would give emotion to the queen of cups and then take it away and then give the emotion and then take it away it's almost like being in and out with your emotions but you know not physically but just emotionally like I'll show you I'll give you a glimpse and then I'll take it away I'll give you a glimpse and I'll take it away but I also feel like after some time this person has just been out like I feel like this was going on and all of a sudden they kind of went MIA and that left an ending between these two energies, the queen and then the knight. Um, it's funny they're not coming through as a king. I keep I keep wanting to say that they should be a king, but maybe that's just because they're not there yet. You know, a king, you don't just become a king. <laughs> you gotta earn the status of a king, you know what I mean? So they just got some work to do too. Um, with the Ten of Swords, there was an ending. But the fact that it's in reverse tells me that you both are kind of getting over that. And you guys are going to have victory. You're going to move past this. And you're, the Wheel of Fortune is going to turn in your favor. Oh, that's awesome. I love it. Geminis. Um, remember, this could always be vice versa. But I got to be honest. I feel like this is your energy. I feel like this is you. I feel like you're, you're a closeted, hopeless romantic, um, it, whoever's resonating with this. Because some of my Geminis are very open about that. But others, not so much. And I feel like... Whoever's resonating with this, whatever Gemini is going to resonate with this, whatever Crosswatcher is going to resonate with this, the Gemini, you know, not not really keen on doing that, not really keen on telling people how romantic they like to be. Um, I feel like it makes someone comfortable. I don't know what that's about because it's their nature. I can see it. It's this person's nature to be hopeless romantic, but they they like to keep that a secret. I don't know why, but they do. But the Queen of Cups, it's like. This is someone who's, who's just, oh, wow, really loving, really loving. This is somebody who would like nurture your talents. This is like, that's this kind of partner. And this particular Queen of Cups, whoever's resonating with this, this is the um, counterpart of the Gemini in this reading. Male or female doesn't matter, but they do have a very maternal like instinct. Like they're very, they're just very comforting and they're very healing. And it's almost like they, they just have a wisdom to them that a lot of people just can't really grasp. I don't know why I'm sensing that, but I am. And I think that's why they're also upright, why they're not really upset, because they kind of, you know, they're just wise. They take things as they come in life and they try not to let it bother them, but they have so much love. It's almost like this, they should have, they should have been the king of cups. <laughs> they have a really good handle on their emotions, even though they're coming through as a queen. And I think they're only coming through as a queen because they are so intuitive and incredibly nurturing. And a king of cups is not those, are not those things. You know what I'm saying? But this particular queen of cups, whoever's resonating, has a really good handle on their emotions. It feels really good. They're very mature. Very mature. This person... Not so much. Okay. <laughs> Nine of Cups, the, the hopefulness, the wishing, the manifesting. I'm also getting a lot of like um 
Replenishment? I don't know what replenishment's about. Replenishing your self-love. Replenishing your self-love. Gemini's. Right, so let's look into this Nine of Cups. <clears throat> Clarify Nine of Cups. 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 I don't know why, but I feel like the Nine of Cups energy... I think you've been trying, this is just like a little thing I'm getting, so it's not going to resonate with everybody, but that particular Knight of Cups in reverse energy, whoever is resonating with this, I feel like they've been spending a lot of time on their career and their dreams, more so like trying to make their dreams a reality, but there's been a lot of restriction, like there's been a lot of obstacles in their way, and they've learned a lot of hard lessons, and I feel like they've also been frustrated by that, and I don't know why, but I feel like it might be part of the reason why there also was a pullback of emotions in like a final way um i think they were just overwhelmed by by feeling like their dreams were never going to come true like their tangible dreams that had nothing to do with love all right that's just something i'm sensing anyway clarify nine of cups clarify nine of cups clarify nine of cups for my gemini so gemini's that would be you that would be your energy okay clarify nine of cups Hold on, we got some peekers. Oh, that's too many peekers. <laughs> that's a lot of peekers. <laughs> Let's keep going. Clarify Nine of Cups. Clarify Nine of Cups. Yeah, Geminis, you are game. Yeah, yeah. This person is, in a way, leveling you up emotionally. It's, oh, there's your court card. It feels really good. Clarify Nine of Cups. Clarify Nine of Cups for my Geminis. Clarify Nine of Cups for my Geminis. Clarify Nine of Cups for my Geminis. Still quite a few cards though, so let me lay all these out. Mm. Okay, so six cards in total, overall, overall energy. Six of Swords in reverse. So yeah, it's like you're hopeful... You're trying to manifest. You're trying to make things happen. And I feel like you're trying to make something happen with this person. But then we got the Six of Swords in reverse. You're having difficulties planning this out. You're having difficulties seeing the way, seeing the pathway towards um, getting to a very zen-like place with this person, a very balanced place. You're having trouble seeing it and trying to figure out how, it, how it's supposed to happen. Underneath that, by the way, Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Double confirmation. So because you can't figure it out, you like you just stop. You're like, I really want this to work. I really want this to work. Uh, but you know what? Why, why can't I figure this out? I'm just going to stop. <laughs> like you literally throw your hands up in the air. Like I kind of give up. Um, the first three cards to clarify the nine of cups. We have strength, Leo energy with the hangman in reverse, Piscean energy with the five of pentacles. So yeah, this is your energy, Gemini. Um, even though, yes, I know it's Leo energy, um, but you're you're harnessing it. Okay, you're gaining control of yourself. It's like the person you're dealing with is very mature and they have control over their emotions. So you're trying to get to that place that they're at. Okay, you're trying to and you're being very successful at it, but it's only coming after you've had a revelation of some kind and after about being in this isolation that you kind of needed the strength to level up and mature in order to, to make things happen. But this is, again, this is only coming after being stuck and stagnant in isolation from this person. Yeah, there was definitely separation of some kind, but Gemini's, I feel like you're the ones who pulled back, uh, who did the final pullback, whatever the final pullback was. And then we have these three cards, the Gemini core card. Could also be um, Aquarius, Libra, Aries, Leo, Sag, with Justice in Reverse, Libra energy, um, with the Three of Wands in Reverse. Yeah, this is about expectations. Gemini, I feel like you you felt like the person you were dealing with had really high expectations of you, and you felt like that was kind of not fair. That's why the, the Justice card's in Reverse. I gotta be honest with what I'm feeling. Whether it's true or not, cross-watchers, <laughs> that's how the Gemini was feeling. Um yeah, three of wands in reverse is high expectations, justice in reverse, like not very balanced, like not rational thinking. And then with the knight of swords, it's almost like you're telling them this. 
you're going to have this revelation and then you're going to gather your strength to gather your emotions. You're going to come in and be like, let's talk. Let's talk about how things ended. Let's talk about what happened. Um, I think there were really high expectations that weren't very fair that were placed on me. But the way you're talking, just be mindful. There, This is the drama card. OK, so it's a lot of quick, fast, excuse me, um, communication, very blunt. So depending on how sensitive your person is, they're very mature, but they are coming through as a Cancerian energy, regardless of their sign. All right. So which is which typically is sensitive, but this person feels very mature. So I think they they can handle it, to be honest. Um, but you're basically going to come in and say, like, look, these expectations were a little too high and I just I could not fulfill them. Um, and it could be vice versa. But that's what I'm seeing an injustice around expectation. And then we have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, Virgo energy. Could also be Capricorn, Taurus, or Aries, Leo, Sag. Um, you know, this is someone who has a complete standstill, someone who's stopped moving forward, okay? And it's coming in after this conversation, which kind of worries me. But let's see what this is about. Clarify King of Pentacles in reverse. Clarify King of Pentacles in reverse. Clarify King of Pentacles in reverse for Gemini. Clarify King of Pentacles in reverse for Gemini. Clarify King of Pentacles in reverse for Gemini. I'm sorry, not King. See, I keep doing that. Knights, the Knights. <laughs> Clarify Knights of Pentacles in reverse. <laughs> Clarify Knight of Pentacles in reverse for Gemini. Clarify Knight of Pentacles in reverse for Gemini. There's a sense of freedom about this knight, though. I don't know if they crave freedom or if it's like they just want to be, they don't want to be restricted in life by like obligations or, or like red, red tape. I'm getting red tape. They might be a little bit of a conspiracy theorist. Um, Clarify Knight of Pentacles in reverse. But they just want total freedom. But they do want it with another person. I think they just don't know how to make this happen with you. But they know that they have to move forward with you because that's what's going to turn the Wheel of Fortune forward. Clarify Knight of Pentacles in reverse. They just don't really know how to make it happen. Clarify Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Clarify Knight of Pentacles in reverse. And, you know, it could be the cross watcher who had really high expectations or it could be the Gemini who had really high expectations. But somebody expected more of the other person than they were able to provide. Clarify Knight of Pentacles in reverse. <gasps> Whoa. Oh, we're going to need to clarify this shit right now. I'm, I'm telling you right now. Death overall for Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Scorpio energy. <sighs> There's a couple things I think going on here. Underneath that was the sun card. So a couple things. There's one, there is a scenario here for my Gemini's where you're going to just stop. You're just going to stop pursuing this person. It's just all, it's just going to die. You're just going to let it pitter out. And that's going to bring you happiness and freedom. I was sensing freedom. Uh, and you're, you're going to move on and you'll be fine. Both of you will be fine. I'm also sensing that for some of my Gemini's, you're going to choose to change you're going to choose the path of transformation in this union, um, which is also going to lead to intense happiness for both of you. So I see it. I see both scenarios playing out that way. It just depends on which group you're in. OK. Um, and Gemini's, you'll know because I really feel like you're the one who's going to be coming in with the communication and you're the one who's either going to decide to change how you've been approaching this situation with the death card changing um, the Knight of Pentacles in reverse energy to something more productive to make this happen, to bring you happiness. Or you're going to say like, look, this is just too hard. I can't do this. Let's just let things pitter out and we'll move on in our separate ways and we'll be happy. I definitely sense it both ways. But Gemini's, you know which group you're in. Crosswatcher, you're not going to know. I'll be honest. You're not going to know unless you're vice versa and you're the one who's going to come in with the communication, okay? Because it can't always be vice versa. Now, the three cards that came out with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Hierophant, Taurus energy with the Two of Pentacles in reverse with the Chariot, Cancerian energy. Again, more Chariot energy. 
this is a spiritual connection. That's why the Hierophant is here. But it's also indicating to me that there's definitely a possibility of marriage here. There's definitely a possibility of, of leveling up the relationship. Well, the two of cups in reverse, right smack dab in the middle, that tells me that there still needs to be some mending here. Some mending of the relationship in order for both of you to move towards commitment. Because this is commitment when it's upright, the cherry card. But it can also be movement in different directions with the two different sphinxes. Sphinxes? Sphinxes? Is that what they are? Sphinx? Anyway. Because like I said, some of my gems, you're going to go through a transformation process and change how you're approaching the situation and you're going to have victory with this person. Others of you, you're just going to choose to walk away. You're going to choose to let this pitter out. It just is how it is. It's going to be up to the Gemini. It's going to be up to the Gemini. Because I really feel like a strong urge for commitment here. We have so many cups. It's not even funny. It's not even funny. We have so many cups. Um, and even just the sheer presence of Cancerian energy, which is nurturing, which is family, like Cancer's will the house of family. You feel like that you're supposed to be with this person. You feel like this person is your family to some extent. Like, I feel like you can have conversations with them that you can't have with anybody else. Um, but I also feel like you keep that a secret. There's something about this union Gemini that I feel like your expectations are a little warped, to be honest. Um, not that they're too high. I just feel like even your expectations are just a little funky when it comes to this. Because it's a spiritual connection. You know that on a deep level. And this person allows you to open up in ways you can't open up with other people. And you know that. But yet there's still like a ceasing of, of your investment at some point in time in this. Um, I just, I don't, maybe you're embarrassed? I don't, there's, there's something about this connection that the Gemini is, finds like feels the need to hide and I feel it I really feel that um by the end of the day we have a marriage card here and we have two commitment cards two forward movement cards we have a ton of major arcana one two three four five six seven half these cards are major arcana oh sh and the overall energy judgment eight yeah half these cards are major arcana cards this is very significant okay um just be careful in how you decide this, Geminis. Because I really feel like the divine is setting up something amazing for you with this person. So just be careful. Really assess it. Really take your time in thinking of, of how you really feel about this person and what you want to do moving forward. Because I can feel that you both kind of want it. But there's something pulling the Gemini back. There's something like making the Gemini hesitant. And then they're going to get to a point where they decide, okay... I'm going to let this die or I'm going to let this change one or the other. Oh, Jesus. Okay. All right, Air Science. Hope you guys enjoyed that bonus. It was over an hour. <laughs> um, and please, I hope somebody was going to timestamp this. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And also don't forget to check out Patreon and the Facebook page. I am working on the other weeklies, okay? Um, I'm going to finish the, the um, Earth ones today, tonight. Um, and I'm going to try to do water tonight as well, but we'll see what happens. My nights have been a little crazy and I was out all night last night, which I did not intend <laughs> on happening. But, you know, we, I got to go to an old friend and stuff happens. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Um, <clears throat> anyway, I'll let you guys go. Have a great new year if I don't see you sooner. Okay, bye guys.